Welcome. The purpose of this video is to illustrate the procedure of removing a flagpole in sections by means of rope access. This video was taken in November of 2018 while a construction embargo is in effect in New York City and heavy equipment was uh, not permitted to be used on this job site. The climber is seen here installing all the rigging necessary to remove another section of the flagpole. Industry standards demand that two rope system is utilized, which we do have in place, but a third rope is installed for immediate descent to the ground level in case it is needed and since possible hard work is performed, a uh, third rope is used for extra precaution. The technician installs rope protectors on the main load lines to prevent any kind of possible abrasion or sparks from hard work. Once all the rigging and safety precautions are in place, the technician starts making cuts. In our situation, a grinder was used since the material is stainless steel. Now the flagpole is made of aluminum or regular steel. A sozzle can be used to prevent the sparks. Whenever possible, all the rigging and ropes are removed from the path of flying sparks. A 2 to 3 inch section of the flagpole is left uncut as a hinge when the section is pulled over. Once the cut is completed, the climber prepares to descend. While the technician descends, a ground worker is pu putting slight tension on a rope that is attached directly to the very top of the flagpole to prevent that section from accidentally toppling over and injuring the worker. Once the technician is off the flagpole, precautions are taken and there is no pedestrians or any other traffic in the area and it is safe to pull the section over. The ground worker pulls the section over and it breaks and the fall is arrested by all the rigging that is in place. Consequently, the sections are lowered onto the ground and stored in a safe location. Also worth noting on this project is that this flagpole is being removed in very large sections as it will be uh, rewelded later in the shop and installed back in uh, this location after the plaza reconstruction project is completed. Telescopic steel flagpoles and aluminum flagpoles have completely different design and their sections are much smaller and lighter. And this process is somewhat time-consuming, yet cost-effective in situations where there's no alternatives to utilize a crane or scaffolds and in difficult-to-reach areas.